Hello, good morning. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm okay, I'm okay. It's hot, it's hot today, no? Yes, yeah. it's really hot. Yes. Oh man, how was your day today? Everything, anything new? Nada nuevo. Okay, nothing, I guess. <clears throat> Hello, Giovanni. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. All right. Good for you. Let me see if everybody's here. Okay, so remember yesterday we were doing time words before, after. There's another one next time. <clears throat> For example, like uh, Evelyn can say, hey, next time you go to San Miguel, you should try um, Cocomal. Or, hey, next time you, next time you put gasoline on your car, put with Chivo, Chivo money. Yeah. Things like that, correct? Yes. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> okay, so let's do the knowledge check. Before a man and a woman get married, they usually what? Can you read number one? Giovanni, please read number one and all the options. You are on mute. I think uh, the answer is uh, date each other for about a year. Can you read it complete, please? Before a man or woman get married, they usually date each other for about a year. Okay, they usually, not usually, usually. Usually, okay. Yes. All right, very good. Uh, number two, Alba, can you read the, the example and the correct? Okay. The correct answer. Mm -hmm. um, when a couple gets, gets engaged, the main offend. Um, Be, begin to plan the wedding. The man, you think? Oh, or maybe give the woman a diamond ring. Yeah, maybe I would say is that, I mean, the traditional, right? The man gives the woman the diamond ring. Ahí sí no existe la igualdad para las mujeres, but... Ah, yeah, ahí mujeres no están dando diamond rings. No, the man has to give the diamond ring. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Let me see Evelyn, number three, please. Right after a couple get, gets engaged, they usually begin to plan the wedding. Yeah, they usually begin to plan the wedding, which, I, which I'm telling you is very difficult. Yeah. Okay, Gustavo, number four, please. Okay, when a woman gets married, her family usually pays pay for the wedding and reception. Okay. Do you know it's a tradition, the tradition in the United States that when you get married, your wedding, the ring that you give to the woman it has to cost one fourth, un cuarto of your income. Of the month. Yes. I don't know if it's the month or the year or el año, pero it has to be a lot of money. For the month? Mm, not good, but not bad. The year bad, <laughs> too much money. Imagine for I'm sorry, baby. I made the minimum. Here's a plastic ring, <laughs> a candy ring. Yes, yes. Uh, Melissa Trujillo, can you do number five, please? Okay, when people are invited to a wedding, they almost always. The bride and groom a, a gift or some money. Yes. And uh, now I need a man here. Let's see, Miguel, number six. Right after a couple get, uh, gets married, they usually um, go on a short trip uh called a uh, honeymoon and a short trip called honeymoon correct yes miguel you're married correct yes did you go on a honeymoon um no no okay no uh, i don't i don't have i don't have okay no problem carmen did you go on a honeymoon yes teacher uh where did you go uh, we we went to uh, um, first Miami and after that uh, Rotan. Okay, cool, nice, nice. Who else is married here? Mister Huayua, did you go? Did you have a, a honeymoon? Hi, teacher. Did you have a honeymoon? Honeymoon, what is honeymoon teacher? When you get married, after you get married, where do you ah, go? Soltero. No, no. The day you get married, that night, and maybe the next night and the next night, you go on a honey. Ah, Luna de Miel. Yes. <laughs> honeymoon, okay. It's married, they usually. And to, uh, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I remember. We we went uh, the Cameron. We went to the Cameron. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Yeah, it's went, only that teacher. I went to Apulo. Ah, Apulo. Oh, yes. It's good. Yeah. It's good too. No, but only Sunday afternoon, and we ate tortillas with Pepesca. Ah, good. <laughs> yes, I am very romantic. I can imagine okay. Gustavo Gustavo when he gets married because he's the perfect boyfriend. He, he's wow. going, I can imagine your honeymoon. In your room, honeymoon. in the room, you're going to have flowers and say, I love you. You are the only woman <laughs> in my eyes. 
green beans. <laughs> <laughs> the green beans, yes. No. Okay, let me see that submit. Let's see if we got them all right. Yep. All right, let's see what's next now. Lesson objective here, it says, in this class, you will practice reading skills for better understanding when scanning specific information and understanding reference words. Uh, let's see the reading skills. Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, it says unique giant. Uh, unique costumes. What is you? Do you understand what unique is? Unique. Como únicas, como inigualables. Yes, thank you. Muy muy bien dicho. En ese sentido, unique es único y ina, ¿Cómo es? Ina, inigualable. 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 Eso, that. <laughs> In, uh, how do you say it? Inigualable. 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 Yeah. Hey, Luis, some Spanish students. Uh, yeah, oh, don't, don't say, this is not correct. What do you want to eat? One pupis, one pupusa, unique. Oh, que comiste? Unique one pupusa is not correct. Because it's not talking about quantity. It's talking about quality. But you can talk about a uh, unique uh, pupuseria. Yes, pero por la calidad, no por la cantidad. For quality. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, like there's a unique pupuseria in, in um, I don't know if it still exists in Antiguo Cuscatlan that the menu is very big. They have every pupusa, every pupusa, pineapple pupusa, cilantro, um, frijoles blanco frijoles, negros frijoles, rojos frijoles, frito, every, every kind, every pupusa you can imagine. It's very, and that's unique. Okay. So, for example, you can say my wife is a very unique woman, or or women. You can say my husband is a very unique man. Yes. Okay. So here we're talking about unique customs. Do you know what is a custom? Costumbre. Costumbre. Yes. What is the custom in El Salvador? November 2. But what is the what is the custom? Go to the cemetery. Yeah, pe people go to the cemetery. Yes. People go to the cemetery. Fíjense, no sé si se acuerdan, si se acuerdan que una vez les dije de que El español, por lo menos el español salvadoreño, es bien. I don't know. Vaya, por ejemplo, ustedes me dijeron ahorita, alguien me dijo, el 2 de noviembre se va a enflorar. Y se entiende lo que quieren decir, pero imagínense a alguien que realmente no sepa de esa costumbre. Ellos piensan que enflorar es poner plantas y lo, eso se puede hacer en, en el jardín de uno mismo, de su casa. Pero ustedes están dando a entender que se va a enflorar a los muertos. Oh, entonces, ¿me entienden? It, it's, you have to be very specific. For example, on November 2, the custom is people go to the cemetery and take flowers. Porque si no quedamos a la traducción salvadoreña, ¿se acuerdan que una vez les dije que hay alumnos que dicen, Hey, how are you? ¿Qué tal su fin de semana? How was your weekend? My house. Que hay gente que dice, my house. Porque en español así decimos, hey, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? Nada. Hey, la casa. No 
nosotros entendemos porque es nuestra cultura, o sea, entendemos que la casa, ah, no hice nada, no salí, me quedé en la casa, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Pero si ustedes lo dicen literalmente sin inglés, what did you do on the weekend? My house. Oh, wow, hizo una casa el fin de semana. Good. Wow, good for you. You know, so you have to be more specific. What did you do on the weekend? Nothing. I stayed in my house. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what is the custom? Miguel, what is the custom in your family on in the birthday? Uh, uh, the custom in my family is uh, R. R or is? Is, is. Because is, is. it's a custom. Yes, yes, yes. Is uh, give a present. It's a special food. Mm. Okay, you celebrate. Yes. Uh, okay, good. Giovanni, what is the custom when you reunite with your friends from high school? Giovanni? Hello, teacher. I Hi. have a problem for connection internet. Oh, okay, no problem. No problem. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, maybe you can't hear me. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. Where is where is everybody today? Let me open the window more. Maribel, what is the custom in your family in Christmas? Okay, Maria Stella Varela. Hi, can you hear me? Okay. Se cortado, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. Todos me escuchan cortado. Eh, no, no, I listen. I listen. Okay. Oh. Maria, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. <coughs> Excuse me, yo tengo 20 megas. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, teacher. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Only, only three, three. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's okay. No, but you know what? I think, I think, in my I opinion, the reason. In no, my, sometimes in I. My, I'm sorry. In my family, in Christmas, uh, we need uh, we eat turkey. Okay. Um, I put music, Navideña, Christmas music. Christmas music. What is Christmas yeah. music in your family? Um, yeah. Cumbias? <laughs> oh, okay, good. Okay, Christmas music. Yeah. I'm Very good. good. Okay. Um, watch TV, Christmas, uh, Christmas movie. Um. <clears throat> I remember when my mother was alive, every Christmas we watched the sound of music. La novicia rebelde. I oh, man, odiaba eso. <laughs> Hoy lo extraño. <laughs> Now yeah, I wish. It's a custom. It's a custom. No, yeah. I mean, when you're a little boy, you don't want to watch that movie only play um ¿cómo se dice reventar cohetes? Play fireworks. Fireworks. Play with fireworks. Okay. Yeah. It's true. I like to work in Christmas. What? I like to work. Why? Uh, by a holiday. Uh, why? The, I like the, I I love to work on December 24. I like to work December 24 because um I am free of responsibilities. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Because if I don't work, 
That day, I am a chauffeur. Uh, yes. Go to okay, the supermarket. Me, dia. Okay. Oh, my God. I forgot the soda. I forgot this. <laughs> and, yeah. and go to the supermarket. And the big lines. Just, just, nah. So now in my job, ¿Quién va a trabajar? ¿Quién quiere trabajar? Me. Me, please. <laughs> So when I when I finish work, I just go to my house and eat. But that's a secret. That's mm -hmm. my secret. My wife doesn't know that. I say, oh, man, baby, I'm sorry. I will work on the 24th. Oh, man. Too bad. Yo que quería ir a traer tus tías. Ir al super. Ir aquí. <laughs> All right, so that's a custom. Let me see, let me see. Um, is everybody in the class Christian? Yes. yes. Christian, okay. Uh, Catholic? No. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, Miguel, you're not Catholic. What religion are you? Uh, I, I don't, I don't, how do you say Christ, uh, Cristiano Evangelico? Evangelist. Okay, you're evangelist. Mm -hmm. We too, evangelist. Oh, I thought you were Jewish. <laughs> no, because I remember you told me in your wedding that. Um... Oh, yes. I don't know. No, no. It's oh, okay. a custom. <laughs> Daniel, oh, okay. Daniel is evangelist teacher. Oh, okay. You're an evangelist. Is somebody something different? A Mormon? Or yes, it's different. Well, no, no, in the class. So we only have Catholics and um oh, okay, okay. An evangelist, correct? No hay, no hay testigo de Jehová or Mormones. No. Oh, okay. Porque, no, I quiero preguntar a un testigo de Jehová. Like, for example, what is your custom in Christmas? Para que me hable en negativo. We don't celebrate Christmas. Oh, yes. We don't. Be, ah, be, and it's okay. Yeah, so it's, my family is, my family is this, this religion. <laughs> okay. Jehovah Witness. Oh, okay. Oh. Jehovah, Jehovah. Jehovah. Witness. Witness. Okay. Yes. Uh, solo para ir algo diferente, quería que me contara, you know, like, oh, don't celebrate, uh, don't celebrate the uh, birthday. Yeah, they don't celebrate. Right? Birthdays either. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. In my case, I am nothing. I am no religion. So uh, I am whatever. You know, I. I what do you believe? In, in, in facts, in hechos, yeah. I don't know. Not, I, no, maybe not. No. Because um, when I, when I read, I, I love to read. I, I, I really, really love to read. I am addicted to reading. I like to read many books. And maybe that's why I became crazy. <laughs> Yeah, cuando leí de judíos, oh, de Auschwitz y, y todo eso, la guerra mundial, my, I started changing my, my opinion. But I do celebrate, oh, but I got married in church. Yes, in one day I did everything. I did communion. I don't know, but I did five different things. Is a communion. ¿Qué es lo que se hace? Convulsión. Primera comunión. Bautismo. Confirmation. Yes, everything in one day. <laughs> yeah. It... Thinking your. <laughs> yeah, the problem is that, yeah, it's a long story, but. Yeah. So um, 
yeah, sometimes people, um, religions, they have different customs. For example, Miguel, your family is Jehovah Witness. They don't, they don't have a custom to celebrate Christmas or mm. or Nash or holidays. They don't celebrate, correct? Never. Never. Okay, but they have different customs. They celebrate with family. They reunite, correct? All right, Gustavo, what is the custom of San Miguel in Christmas? What do you eat? Um, sandwich. For... But what kind of sandwich? A chicken sandwich with I... um, at, at home. But a Salvadorian, a, a typical Salvadorian chicken sandwich, remember? Yeah, but uh, how do you say ejotes? Oh, good. Green beans. Green beans. Okay. With green beans. Oh, you mean, but like escabeche, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, that custom in our family. I love green beans with lemon and salt. Oh man, that's oh yeah. So All right. <clears throat> okay, do you have anything different, like a custom in your family or with your friends? Do you have a custom? Because look, you have customs in everything. You have customs in your country in your religion, in your school, in your school you have customs, no? With your friends, with your family. Like with my family, Fridays is pupusa day, man. There's no escape, Friday is pupusa night. It's a custom. Yes. Yes. Do you have any special customs with your family or friends or religion? School? Eat pupusas every Saturday. Every Saturday. In the yes. same place with your family in the house or? And in the house. All right, Eat cool. In the house. Yes. Nice. All right. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Let me see. Giovanni says, hello, teacher. I have internet connection problems. I can't hear very well. Okay. Giovanni, can you hear me? So, so. Okay. No, I'm joking. I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm not talking. <laughs> it was a joke. Okay. So let's listen to this unique oh. customs to these unique customs. You know, there's a very beautiful, unique custom in the Middle East, in the Medio Oriente. And I think it's a very, very good custom uh, is that a man can have six wives. And no, teacher. And the, and the, and the women are all covered. Yeah, that's a bad custom. That, that, that's bad. But but a man with six wife, I, I think it's a good custom. And the family has to pay me. Yeah, so we should adopt that custom to have six wives. No, I'm joking. Okay, let's see here. Let me move this. Okay, so I'm going to read. Yes. Yes. Uh, for example, in my job, uh -huh. when um, which they promote or get promoted from from their first first payment, uh, she or he should invite us us to eat every office. Like the culebra teacher, right? 
Yes. Okay. Neck. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Neck. yeah, that's, yeah. that's true. That's that's a that's a custom. Okay, let's see the customs here. Look, it says January 17 is St. Anthony's Day in Mexico. It's a day when people ask for protection for their animals by bringing them to church. But before the animals go into church, the people usually dress them up in flowers and ribbons. Hmm. Do you know what is ribbons? No. no. Yes, yeah. like ch chongas, ribbons, cintas. Suelta el listón de tu pelo. That this is ribbon. Okay, so ah, we don't have Saint Anthony's Day in El Salvador, right? Okay, number two, it says, on August 15 of the lunar calendar, Koreans celebrate Chuseok, also known as Korean Thanksgiving. It's a day when people give thanks for the harvest. Korean families honor their ancestors by going to their graves to take them rice and fruit and clean the grave sites. Okay, questions. Sé que tienen que preguntar aquí. Questions? Thank you for harbor. Es por la, por la guerra. No. Harbor. Harvest. Harvest. <laughs> Cosecha. Um, <laughs> vegetable. Yes. Chop. You know. Chop. What okay, is Chop? Chop. Okay, so one more time, listen. On August 15 of the lunar calendar, Koreans celebrate Chosok, as you say, Ama, that day. Chosok. It's like saying Tilinte. What is Tilinte? It's, it's a name. Also known as the Korean Thanksgiving. It's the day when people give thanks for the harvest. Korean families honest, honor their ancestors by going to their graves. What is graves? Right. Like tumbas. tumbas? No. Eh, tumbas? Tumbas. Oh. So the family. <laughs> yes. Estamos bien perdidos. <laughs> grapes <laughs> with P de Papa. Yeah, it's not grapes, it's graves. So listen, Korean families honor their ancestors by going to their graves to take them rice and fruit and clean the grave sites. Llevan arroz y frutas y limpian las tumbas. Yes. Es como una combinación del día de gracias y el de noviembre. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Number three, it says, long ago in India, a princess who needed help sent her silk bracelet to an emperor. What is silk? Seda? Uh, no, uh -huh. it's... Uh, yes. Uh, no. It's... Seda. It's seda. Mm -hmm. oh. A bracelet? Yes, okay. Yes, so a princess who needed help sent her silk bracelet to an emperor. Although he did not arrive in time to help her, he kept the bracelet as a sign of bond between them. Today in India, during the festival of Rakhi, Men promise to be loyal to their women. In exchange, women give them a bracelet of silk, cotton, or gold thread. Do you have questions? Uh, what 
Pong is like a vínculo or something. Bond, yes, yes. Bond. Loyal, what is loyal? What? Loyal. Loyal, loyal is loyal? Gust Gustavo to his girlfriend. Loyal is leal. You must move on to the India. Yeah. Do you, do you, do you know Frida Kahlo? Yeah. Yes. Um, Mexican woman. Yeah, she's a very, very um, unique. She was a very unique. Her, her, her and Diego Rivera, they were, they were very unique couple. Pero Diego, Diego Rivera had a problem that um, he was a womanizer. Era mujeriego. And, and he told Frida Kahlo, you know, I can't be faithful. No te puedo ser fiel. I can't be faithful. And Frida Kahlo said, it's okay. I only want loyalty. So that was, it was, it was cool. I mean, because they were very strange. So that is loyalty. Do you understand? So men promise yes. to be loyal to women. Loyal is, is like, usually friends are loyal. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Do you have friends that are loyal that if if you need help, they will be there? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Number four, it says, one of the biggest celebrations in Argentina is New Year's Eve. On the evening of December 31, families get together and have a big meal. At midnight, fireworks explode everywhere and continue throughout the night. This day, when friends and family meet for parties, which last until the next morning. Quien escribió eso, por, obviamente no ha viajado. Porque <laughs> that's not in Argentina. That's in all of America, my friend. Yes, in El Salvador too is the celebration, you know, families get together, they explode. Let's see, number a big meal. Number five, it says on the evening of February 3rd, three, people in Japan celebrate the end of winter and the beginning of spring. This is known as Setsubun. Family members throw dried beans around their homes, shouting, good luck in, evil spirits out. After they throw beans, they pick them up and eat one bean for each year of their age. <laughs> That's a crazy tradition. <laughs> Do you understand the tradition in Japan? No, in China is right. Japan. Japan. In Japan, right? So they celebrate yeah, well, the year of winter and the beginning of spring. Well, here, what's the here, meaning evil spirit out? Excuse me? What's the meaning evil spirit out? Oh, okay. They say Japan good. Japan. Yeah, like good luck in evil spirits out, out. Buena suerte que se vayan los malos espíritus o algo así. Yes, the evil spirits. Echan oh. fuera los malos espíritus. Repente que, entre, que entre la buena suerte y se vayan los malos espíritus. Do you see my wall? Yeah. It's yes, teacher. 
I have my devils. I have a wall full of devils and skulls and everything. I like, I love Halloween. So, no. Entonces, eh, cuando era mi suegra, que es extremadamente católica, siempre tira agua bendita aquí. O algo. <laughs> She says, evil spirits, out, out. Yo, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, do you know of any tradition or any country that has different um, customs? Oh, I don't know. No, you don't know of anything? Of different oh, customs. Sister, I don't know. Other custom. Yeah. Um. There are no, and and also remember, there are some very stupid customs too. Los Arabes, they have very stupid customs. You know, for example, um. When the little boy becomes a man, the, the golpean, he hits ah, into blood. I don't know, it's very stupid. Okay, so let's see what's next. Mr. Sun, give me a kiss. Make them the sweetest that ever. Okay, look, it says, read the sentence and choose the correct part of the two-part verb missing. Please clean bedroom. It's really messy. So please clean. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Yeah, so please clean up the bedroom. It's really messy. Oops, <laughs> it's really a mess. I'm sorry. Mi trauma con messy. Could you please put blank the groceries in the kitchen? Put it away. Put away. What is put away? Uh, for me, it's over. Put away? Okay. Put away is this. For example, when you are in a bank, you can't use your cell phone. Bueno, ya se puede, creo. But usually the security, the security of the bank, he tells you, excuse me, please put away your cell phone. Do you understand put away? Guardar. Yes. Yes. O como me lo dijo un alumno una vez, un buen salvadoreño, alzar. Yeah, but put away is that. Okay. Um, one thing, one thing I really, really, really hate in people is, and, and I tell my wife, we have one, well, yeah, oh, yeah, no, but we have this problem that um, I don't like to talk to people, and that person is on the cell phone. I hate that. You know, like a, a family reunion. You know, we're eating and we're talking. So tell me about school. No, you know, it's normal. I mean, I tranquilo. I say, excuse me, please, or put away your phone or talk to me. But that's offensive to play, chat, and talk. But it's me. <laughs> 
So I used to put away your phone. With my son, when we go to a, when, when we're eating dinner or I go, I say, okay, son, put away the tablet. Yes? You understand put away? You just put away and keep. Keep es quedárselo. Como keep it. Yes, it's the same. No. Put away and keep it? No. no. Keep es quedárselo, quédeselo. Keep it. Keep up? Wait, wait, wait. Keep up or keep? Okay. What, what do you need to know? Keep up. I'm sorry. Keep up or keep? Keep. Oh, my God. It's so difficult to teach a class when nobody. Okay. Okay. Keep is this. Prestame un lapis here. And the next day. Oh, my God. It's my to lapis here. Oh, no problem. Keep it. Quédatelo. No problem. Quédatelo. It's just keep. Okay. All right, Melissa. Keep. Keep it. Yes, yes, teacher. Uh huh. Or um. Or. ¿Qué más regala uno seguido? Oh, like a mascarilla. Hey, presame la mascarilla here. Keep, keep, keep the tips. Yeah, keep the tip. Uh huh. Oh yeah. When you pay, how much? Four fifty. Oh, here's five dollars. Keep it. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, keep it. Yeah, keep it. Keep him. Him is a person. Him is a person. Keep him is a situation. Imagine, imagine. Okay, Melissa and Evelyn are fighting for a man. And, and Evelyn says, no, he's mine. And Melissa, no, he's mine. You know what? Keep him. Oh, only imagine, only imagine. Yeah, only imagine, of course. Yeah, but in that situation, that's when you say keep him. Because keep him is a person. Oh, keep her. But when it's an object, it's keep it. Okay. All right, cool. So next, can you turn the TV while on the phone? Down. 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 Good. Turn down. That means the volume down. Turn down. What else can you turn down? The radio. Volume. Okay, good. So we can turn down TV, radio. Come on. Look. Air conditioner. No. The air conditioner, yes. When I, uh -huh, when I... Yeah, you said, can you please turn down the temperature? It's not turned off, it's turned down. Well, I mean, yeah, it like, depends. Yeah, if it's really hot, I say, hey, man, <laughs> hey, can you turn up the temperature? Yeah, or like, yes. like the radio. No, we go, what? Turn up the volume, turn up the radio. Mm -hmm. Also, your voice. Cuando alguien está gritando, no gritando, pero, pero you told me, you say, excuse me, hey, turn down your voice. Increase about increase or decrease. Exactly. Okay. Increase or decrease. You know, no sé si alguien ha trabajado con atención al cliente y le sale un cliente bien enojado. ¡Ah! 
Sí, excuse me, please turn down your voice. Por no decirles shut up. So you have to be very polite. I wish I could say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shut the f no. uh, Yeah, you said, please turn down your voice or I will not continue. Da -da -da. Okay, the second warning. Please turn down your voice. Da -da -da. Okay, bye bye. Da -da. <laughs> Okay, good. So that's turn down. Next, it says part two, instructions. Read the sentences and choose between infinitive and gerund. Infinitive to eat. To eat, thank you. What is the gerund of eat? For eating. Eating, eating. eating. So I like to eat and I like eating, correct? Yeah. I like to eat yes. and I like reading. So what is the difference? It's not, there's no difference. Nothing. It's the same. It's the same. It's just a popular way of speaking. So not, part two says, read the sentence and choose between the infinitive or gerund. Instruction. instruction. Otra vez caí. Estaba leyendo español en inglés. <laughs> Instrucciones, iba a decir. Instrucciones, lea oración, las oraciones y escoja entre infinito o gerundio. Microwave ovens are used food very fast. For cooking. Mm. For cooking. Are used for cooking food very fast? Yeah. También to cook could be correct. To cook could be. Uh -huh. Yeah. When you go to the beach, try the camcorder wet. Not to get, not to get. Try not to get. Or también esta puede ser correct. Not get it. Hey, entonces, wait, wait, hold on. Choose between. Choose one. Choose one. Because the two are correct. Yeah. You can use my cell phone, bleh, a voicemail. To leave. To leave. Yeah. To leave. Eso sí es to leave. Yeah. Don't forget blank. Taking, your, don't take. forget to take. Okay. Or don't forget taking, taking. your card. The two are correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, they're correct. If you select the, the other the other option, it is similar. Oh, wait. Oops. So we are taking no, okay. no only, only, only okay only but okay. but uh, but remember but according to this but the two the two are correct um carmen when you go to a discotheque or a party or a bar or a restaurant what do you like drinking well i like Drinking <laughs> some beers, soft beer. Oh, okay, good. I, I imagine you were going to say I like drinking margaritas with, I don't know, strawberries like... or something. <laughs> but that's good. You like beer, so it's cool, man. Um, uh, Roxana, Melissa, are you there? Yes. Do you like pudding? Lemon in your soup? No, I don't like putting lemon in my soup. But yes, put lemon in my soup. So imagine you're going to eat a bean soup, con hueso and onion, <laughs> onion and tortilla. You don't put lemon. <laughs> no, I don't put lemon in my soup. All right, I don't okay. like. Okay, here's a question for Evelyn and Gustavo. What do you prefer eating? Pupusas with um, mayonnaise curtido or vinegar curtido? I like both, but if I am Samuel, I eat mayonnaise curtido. It's All right. Black soot. <laughs> and you, Gustavo? I always prefer um, 
with mayonnaise. There is no place in San Salvador with mayonnaise curtido. I didn't find. Yeah, that's true. Somebody should invent that. Yeah, but people here in San Salvador look a little rare to eat in. But you know, it depends because I went to many pupuserias in San Miguel. And it's it's like in San Salvador. Some in some pupusas the curtido is very good, and some it's ugly. But in San Sal, I mean, I like mayonnaise curtido. But if it's really good, porque you know que lo hacen con sabor yeah. escabeche, that one was really good. Que hasta en pan se puede comer like a sandwich. <laughs> uh, that that one's good. I like. They put carrots, green beans. Do you do you have tried the choripanes in San Miguel? No. The real choris? The choripanes? No. no. With chimichurri? No, no, no. With chorizo. No. Hey, listen, I remember I remember there was a woman. Una señora le decían la mama. She was by the stadium, but she opened at night, like at nine, nine, 10, 11, 12, was at four or five in the morning. Man, she had everything, rellenos, eh, carne asada, and chorizos, everything. Like Mama Chus. Yes, it was like Mama Chus. Everybody used to go there after drinking, um, except me, except me, yo, porque mi amigos tomaban. <laughs> but she was very famous. Very pero, insanio. Yes, but oí que la atropellaron o algo. <laughs> like, Panes Candy, near from the stadium, there is a place, but I don't know if it's the same. No, because she was in the street. Yeah, but I, street near from stadium. Okay, good. Una cosa ahí. Near is a preposition, correct? Okay. From is a preposition. Oh, okay, near so, stadium. Exactly. Only one preposition. Okay. Near the stadium. Okay. All right, cool. <clears throat> so let's see. Don't forget. Don't forget. Let me see. What about... Maribel. Okay, I don't think she can hear me. Daniel Huayua, are you there? Yes, yes teacher, I'm here. All right, Daniel Huayua. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What, do, what do you like doing on weekends? On weekends, mm -hmm. yes. uh, sometimes I'm go out, go out with my family. I like going oh. out. I but, like going out. But, but but listen to my question, Daniel. Not what do you do on the weekend? Uh -huh. What what do you like doing on the weekend? Que lo que me gusta hacer, bro. Yes. Okay. Uh, go out with my family. For... I like I like. Going out. Can we practice in gerunds or infinitives? Okay. I like going out with my family. Okay. And, and shopping and shopping. Uh, clothes, uh, shoes. All right. Nice. For my for my for my little daughters. Oh, okay. Good. Mm hmm And sometimes I like. I like uh, staying in house, relaxing, to watching TV. Okay. Uh, a series with my Netflix, and enjoy with my family, with my with my daughters. Very good. So you're a family man. Good. I I enjoy fixing things in the house. 
a arreglar cosas. Yes. Ya llegué a esa etapa de maestro, man. Ya, I, 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 yeah, you know, like, yes, I like doing that. Now. It's like, on the weekend, I'm going to paint. Um, I'll invite you. I'll invite you to my to my house. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I am at that point right now. I, I enjoy fixing things in my house. The problem okay, is good. I can't fix. Siempre me queda mal algo. No, All right. Para mi casa. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, that's that. I think we did this at the beginning of the lesson, correct? We did this at the beginning of the lesson, the gerunds and infinitives, correct? I'll, I'll, I imagine that's a yes. Okay, class. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow then, okay? Okay. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye, people. Bye.